Chart of Accounts in Sage Accounting In this video, we will explain what the Chart of Accounts is and why it is important. Show you how to create new nominal ledger accounts and teach you how to edit a nominal ledger account. What is the Chart of Accounts? Let's start with an explanation of the Chart of Accounts. The Chart of Accounts is a list of all the accounts used by your business. These are known as nominal ledger accounts. When you set up Sage Accounting, we create a set of default ledger accounts for you. You can use and edit the existing accounts and create new ones. The main purpose of the Chart of Accounts is to help you analyze your data and view how your business is performing using reports. Each nominal ledger account has a unique number to identify it, known as a nominal code. The chart of accounts is also split into categories, for example, sales and purchases. Usually, the nominal codes are grouped and relate to the category, for example, by default sales nominal codes start at 4000 and end at 4999, purchase and direct expenses nominal codes would start at 5000 and end at 5999. The ledger categories will determine which management report your transactions will appear in. For example, the profit and loss or balance sheet reports. It's these reports that show how your business is performing at any moment in time. We'd recommend setting up your chart of accounts before adding new contact records or creating transactions. However, you can add to your chart of accounts at any time. How to view your chart of accounts to access your chart of accounts, go to Settings and then Business Settings. From here, click Chart of Accounts. You'll see a list of your current nominal ledger accounts. If you are looking for a specific code, you can search to find a nominal account. For example, enter the nominal code or ledger name. Use these filters to view the chart of accounts in the way you'd like. To show more or less records on the screen, click the drop-down here and select the required number. The list will automatically update with your selection. Create new nominal ledger accounts. Let's look at how to create new nominal ledger accounts. If you are an existing business, moving to Sage Accounting, you can import your chart of accounts. Alternatively, you can use the default chart of accounts and add nominal ledger accounts to this manually one by one. Please note, you can only import your chart of accounts once. You must do this before you create any transactions or records in Sage Accounting, such as invoices or expenses, or any customers or suppliers. If you would like to import your existing chart of accounts, please refer to our Help Center for in-depth guidance. To create a new ledger account manually, click New Ledger Account. All mandatory fields are marked with an asterisk. By default, the include in chart is selected, which means you will be able to use this code throughout the software. If you clear this checkbox, the new ledger account will not appear when you're entering transactions. The ledger name is entered here. This is the name that will be displayed in the chart of accounts. The display name can be the same as the ledger name if you'd like, or something different. This name will be displayed throughout the software, for example, when you add this to an invoice. The nominal code can be changed here. The number you enter must be unique as you can't duplicate nominal codes in the chart of accounts. Consider your nominal structure when choosing a nominal code. Using the drop-down, choose the correct category for this ledger account. If you are unsure which category to choose, you can find more information on our help center or you can seek advice from your accountant. The category group is not available to edit, as this is determined by your choice of category above. You can specify a default VAT rate for your nominal code. Meaning, whenever you use this ledger account, the VAT rate will be automatically added for you. Don't worry, you can amend this on the fly if required. To specify where you'd like this ledger account available, select or clear the relevant checkboxes. Before you save and create your nominal ledger account, 
It is worth noting that you can't delete a nominal ledger from the chart of accounts. Once you are happy, click Save. To edit an existing nominal code, select the required ledger account from the list. If you would like to exclude this from the chart of accounts completely, clear this checkbox or amend the required details. Once you have made the required amendments and are happy with the changes, click Save. Control accounts are marked with an asterisk and you can't exclude these from the chart of accounts. To export your chart of accounts to Excel, select this drop-down and click Export Accounts. The report will then be downloaded. Defaults Overview To save you time when creating records and processing transactions, you can enter default settings and preferences. To do this go to Settings, then Business Settings, and then click Record and Transaction Settings. Here you can enter your default settings and preferences for your customers, suppliers, payments and receipts, products and services, as well as accounting settings. You can set specific default nominal codes to individual contact records to further automate processing. For further information, access our Help Center by clicking Help at the top of Sage Accounting. You have now learned how to review and edit your chart of accounts.